hello and welcome back to the channel in this video i want to talk to you about three most popular gum that we use to make skincare products gums are used mainly to tighten the bonds be uh, between molecules uh, when making skincare products and mainly we use them to stabilize our product um, there are three most popular type of gum in the natural sector if you're talking about the synthetic uh, skincare industry uh, we can hear kaboma sodium kaboma you know and so on and so forth um, in the natural skincare industry we mainly use uh, zantango goa gum and hex hydroethyl cellulose now three of them have their major major function let me talk about zantangum first zantangum is a natural emulsifier this is how it looks it's a natural emulsifier and stabilizer is derived from corn sugar the amazing property of this is its uh, solubility in hot and cold water that's why we use it mainly it's soluble in hot and cold water it can tolerate salt and different ph uh, changes and it can also tolerate um, hot weather hot temperature or cold temperature it can use to thicken creams you know lotions and gel so it's uh, multi-functional um, like i showed you on this channel i've already showed you how to use this so i will not be doing that in uh, another video tonight but i will still demonstrate to you how to use gray, gray gum and how do you use hydroethyl uh, cellulose so a lot another thing uh, that we love about zantango is that it's uh, able to you know to you can dissolve it in glycerin you can also dissolve it in water and it's very very easy to you know to make skincare product you know just add it to the water face of your formulation and just it you are done just make sure you allow it to hydrate fully that's the good thing about it so now let's go to gua gum gua gum has a lot of benefits also compared to other thickening agents whether hydroethicillo or so, zantango gua gum has thickening properties okay it's uh, added to the water phase of your formulation before you heat it okay due to its uh, effectiveness it has tiny tiny amounts of you know of a particle that make it a bit more different okay from zantangum if you look at zantangum here and you look at uh, gua gum gua gum looks more like you know um, what can i call it uh, it looks more like colloidal hot meaning it's smoother it's more like a powder okay and this is not like a powder this is more like a powder so that's the if it has different effectiveness and the effectiveness is what you felt when you are using it that's why it has more of a surfactant property in gua gum we use gua gum also to make a, a shampoo okay that's the pr ability you know to because of the surfactant quality it helps to in, uh, increase the ladder okay so that's why we use it to make our cleaning or product like soap and we can also use it to make shaving products okay it helps to decrease the friction um, for easy use okay it, when you are uh, you have your razor okay and when you are shaving this gum helps so much to decrease the friction and because it has excellent conditioning uh, ability it helps to soften the skin and ear that's why i use it to make shampoo a lot so that's why uh gua gum is different from zantan gum if you use zantan gum to make shampoo you're going to it's going to lead to hair breakage so a lot of uh, experienced formulators do not use zantan gum to make shampoo it's a wrong 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 choice but gua gum is very good to make shampoo and it can easily be dissolved also in water at any temperature okay whether cool warm or so that's the good thing about uh, this too so you can you can um hydrate this the same way we hydrate uh zantangum this can easily go in water better than zantangum so but when i do the demonstration video you will see it in another 
another video of mine so these are the three main now let's talk about hydrated cellulose a bit i saw a, a video somewhere when someone was mentioning carboma if you are doing natural uh, skincare products please stop using carboma carboma is a synthetic chemical and it's not a very good chemical it's toxic even though uh, people in the synthetic world will say it's not toxic carboma is highly toxic and when you put carboma in your product uh, that means you're putting plastic in your product, so it's not the best. Okay, even though it has excellent, excellent holding property because it's plastic, it's not the best. That's why in the natural skincare industry or any, any natural skincare brand should not, okay, should never be using Kaboma. It's not fair for your customers. So make sure you don't use Kaboma when you, when you claim to be a natural brand. So that being said, uh, I drew a T cellulose X. It's a good choice and it's very easy to use i will make another video to use uh you can dissolve it in water very easily just make sure you hydrate it ahead of time this needs at least a minimum of one hour to fully hydrate if you want to use it to make it good this you can use to make clear clear uh, gel and serum please do not use it to make your lotion because it's going to turn your lotion into a bubble bath <laughs> Not bubble bath, so to say, it's just going to have a lot of ripple effect and it's not, it's going to mess up your lotion. Not for lotion, it's only used to make crystal clear gel. That's what we use hydrated cellulose for. I will show that to you in another video. On my website, if you have been there, if you have joined the membership, you will see a lot, a lot, I mean, a lot of uh, stable formula where I explain to you also in detail how to actually incorporate this into your skincare product but in another video i will show you how to use x to make skincare products so that by the side we have any question about these three popular gums that we use to make natural skincare products feel free to drop those comments in the comment box below if you want to know how to use zentan gum i already made that video on the channel so feel free to look for that video on the channel and next i'm going to use, show you how to hydrate uh, goa gum almost similar to uh, Zantam gum, I will show that to you. And uh, X, that is what I will show after making a video for this. So, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you want to learn more about making skincare products, this is what this channel is all about. Uh, even though we make different brand of skincare products, uh, expect to learn more about making solidly natural products. Click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. A lot of you are asking me, do I have a skincare school? And when I opened the school uh, two years ago, I took a lot of students in and it took my time because I have to be the mentor for those students. It's like time consuming. So after I finish my, my contract with these students, in all honesty, I feel it's taking too much from me. So uh, what I do right now is on my channel, when you go there, you can learn how to make any skincare product. Uh, what I do is I have a stable formula that you can never find anywhere online, not a DIY that you find on server. I know there are a lot, lot of formula that are free out there, but hey, I've reviewed some of those formulas. They're like joke. These are not the formulas that you can use to make uh, skincare products for, to sell. If you really want to learn how to make skincare products to sell, expect to see more of that on uh, naturalskincarescode.com. There's a membership site mainly. I had uh, a lot, a lot of stable and verified uh, lab tested uh, formulas on the site every week. So expect to see more and more, even though we recently launched it, but we keep increasing the formula every week. So if you have joined right now, you may not have seen thousands of formula yet, but be rest assured that they are coming. They are being added every week. So if you have any question, feel free to drop in the comment box or email me at hello at naturalskincarescool.com. That is the best way to learn skincare pro. Just sign up you're going to see step-by-step -step instruction on how to make any skincare product i also put the support email there like you have any questions support feel free to also drop it uh, when you are a member that's how natural skincare school works so thank you so much everyone for watching remember click the subscribe button 
and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new video. I upload videos almost every now and then. I don't have a regular schedule right now. But hey, if you want to learn more about formulating skincare products, I personally think uh, going to online skincare school is not the best route. Even though some people have spent a lot, a lot of money, not the best route because online skincare school are just teaching a lot of student garbage. I've verified some, some, and I've actually worked with several students that have been to different online school. I don't want to mention name that I have to retrain them all over again. I have to. Um, teach them the right way and, the, and correct the wrong way the skincare school have taught them. So that's exactly what I do on this channel. It's free for you all that uh, I, I launch it mainly to correct the wrong notion, the wrong uh, training that some garbage online school have taught you. And this is directly from my heart to you. So thank you so much for the support. Please continue to support me and I'll continue to make great and great videos. Thank you so much for watching.